Hello, my name is Noel Pender. I'm a principal clinical neuropsychologist in the Department of Psychology in Beaumont Hospital, and I'm associate professor in neuropsychology in the School of Medicine at Trinity College Dublin. Have you ever wondered about the human brain? Have you ever wondered about our thinking and memory and language? How this happens? How does our capacity to interact with the world, interact with other people, work, study, learn, come from this, the human brain? Well, neuropsychology is interested in that. Neuropsychology is a branch of the discipline of psychology, which is concerned with the relationship between the human brain and its behavior. More specifically, neuropsychologists are interested with the effects of brain damage due to disease or injury on specific sets of skills, such as thinking skills like memory and language, emotion, social interaction, and our behavior. Neuropsychologists are interested to know how particular type of diseases, injuries, and disabilities affect all these skills. And we use a range of tests and techniques to understand those skills and build a profile of strengths and weaknesses to help understand the effects of these conditions on each individual person. Neuropsychologists can come from a variety of backgrounds. They can be clinical psychologists, counseling psychologists, educational psychologists. They can also be researchers who are interested in understanding very specific types of techniques and strategies and how they can unlock and unleash more information so that we can understand the normal healthy human brain, but also specific deficits and difficulties that emerge when the brain is damaged due to disease or illness or disability. Neuropsychologists can work in a variety of areas. They can work in hospitals, they can work in universities, primary care centres, and in a variety of different charities specialising in the care of people with neurological difficulties. And our jobs tend to involve a number of features. So quite often when you refer to a neuropsychologist, you will undergo a series of complex, challenging tests of thinking, memory, language and social interaction to help understand each of the different parts of the brain and how they've been affected by the particular illness or injury that has caused you to go for the referral. But they'll also use that information to build a picture of strengths and weaknesses that can be used for rehabilitation and treatment. Many psychologists are also working with psychological therapy techniques and can provide help and support for coping with the effects of the particular type of injury that you might experience. How is this information also used? Well, the information is very personalized. It's very specific to each individual that comes for an assessment. So this is your information about your brain and how it's been affected by any particular type of condition. And that's really useful. It's really useful for you. It's really useful for the clinicians treating you. And it can also be used to help understand a particular condition that you might experience and be used to help diagnose a particular condition that you could be experiencing. So a neuropsychological assessment and also rehabilitation plan can be very beneficial for lots of different people who've experienced lots of different difficulties. You may also be asked to participate in neuropsychological research, either as a patient participant, as a caregiver, or as a healthy control to help us understand the, the functions of the healthy human brain. And this is really valuable research and quite often it's multidisciplinary research. So many of us work with uh, colleagues in different disciplines such as neurology, neurophysiology, neuroimaging um, and within our health and social care professionals such as uh, occupational therapy, speech therapy and uh, physiotherapy. And this multidisciplinary research and clinical focus allows us to pick up a really detailed measure and picture and image of the brain in a variety of different states due to a variety of different conditions. So in summary, neuropsychology is concerned with the functioning of the healthy brain, but also the brain that can be affected by illness and disease, and trying to understand the breakdown of particular skills in thinking, emotion, and behavior, and how we can treat those difficulties. If you want to learn more about neuropsychology, the Psychological Society of Ireland has a register of psychologists, if you're interested in attending one, and also the Division of Neuropsychology of the Psychological Society of Ireland can provide more information on the range of skills and available services for neuropsychologists in Ireland. Thank you.